Hi, my name is Olu Sonia. I am lead instructor at Success Prep, and um, I'm here today to show you our ACT practice online drill tool. It's a uh, it's a tool that we've created to help a lot of our students, a lot of the students taking the ACT test, um, to get some more practice beyond just taking a practice test. Uh, the drill tool is designed to help a student just do just that to drill um, specific on specific areas of weakness um, uh, on the ACT test. So what we've done with this too is created something that allows us to be able to look at particular topics that a student is struggling with and then create uh, quizzes and practice drill uh, drill questions around that particular area of weakness. So right here you see our uh, login page, it's the same login page a student would see um, when they sign up for this tool. And this tool can be used along with our one-on-one -on -one tutoring and also our self-study uh, program. So either way, uh, we are able to give the student uh, really the practice on top of what we're already doing with them one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So over here, we can go ahead and log in uh, into this tool. And what I have right here is I already have a student set up uh, just to practice. And if you go right there into test, um, when you log in, you're going to see quizzes and tests. So here I've created a sample student who scored a 20, 24 on the ACT. And what we're doing here, as you can see, is uh, the tool shows uh, you know, the score for the student for that particular test. So English, the math, the reading, and the science. So if you click on that some more, it takes you into uh, some more um, analytics about what the student did. So it just kind of breaks down uh, every score uh, by the topic areas under that particular uh, subject. So under English, you could see the usage me mechanics and rhetorical skills. On the math, you see where the student did very well on pre-algebra. But as you could see, you could use some help on the usage mechanics and the rhetorical skills for the verbal and you know, so on and so forth for the other sections. So if you scroll down, the student who scored a 24, you see a scorecard here that looks very similar. Actually, it's just the same as what the student is going to receive when they take the actual ACT test. And what we've done here is gone ahead and broken down how the student has done on this particular test, um, just like they would see on the ACT. Now, all this information is very useful to us as we help try to help this student and improve their ACT score because we're able to see exactly what they got right, what they got wrong, and areas that we could try to strengthen. So for example, you see here in the answer sheet section, the English, the math, the reading, and science, and you can see here exactly how the student did, where they, which questions they missed, and what subject and what uh, topics those questions come under. And that's gonna be very useful very soon when I show you guys the quizzes. If you click in the, in the math, you could see the squares, the, how the student did on math, uh, reading, and on science. Now, if you scroll down some more, this is really where the tool gets really, really amazing because here, um, as the instructor, as the student guiding the student, uh, as the instructor guiding the student through this, uh, this online tool, um, we are able to look here, for example, on the English and say, okay, you know what, this student, um, is doing pretty weak, is pretty weak um, and under idioms, uh, propositions, and word usage, 57%. Uh, and they're doing pretty okay, you know, under something like pronouns, under something like verb tense um, and sentence uh, fragments. So we're able to create quizzes around areas of weakness, which is really what this tool allows us to do. So if you scroll down some more, you could see some more analytics on, on science. Um, um, it's really diagnosing really where the student is um, uh, for each of these categories. And then we can see the same for math areas we can improve. So as you can see, the students doing really well in logarithms and matrix, matrices and quadratic equations, but they really need some improvement on stuff like polygons and like say like line angles. So we're able to create quizzes around that. So what I've done is I already created some quizzes for the students. So we leave the, the test phase and go into the quizzes phase. If your student signs up for this program, what we're able to do is take information from that test and then create quizzes, specific quizzes for around what the student is struggling with. So for example, here I've improved, I've uh, created quizzes around ge um, uh, coordinate geometry and pre-algebra. So for, say for example, and it's showing green here, it's showing that the student has already done this and these um, pretty open ones are the ones the student has not done. So let's take a look at one uh, that the student has done. So if we look at quiz one over here, the quizzes will look just like this and your student can kind of scroll through it to kind of see how uh, each question. Now, this is a test that a student has done. 
What's amazing about this too that I really want you to understand is after the student has gone through a quiz that we've customized for them, they're able to watch math video solutions, actual video solutions of the of that of any questions they miss. So say for example, and even the ones they got right too. So I'm going to play one of these so you could take a look. So that's, as you can see right there, it's actually playing a video of exactly what, you know, step by step, how the student needs to solve that question. So, and the key part of that is it allows instruction, it allows the actual information, the student to still get instruction even when we're not there, um, because we're usually seeing the student once a week. So this allows um, the student to continue the learning process even outside of the actual instruction. And for our self-study students, it actually allows them to be taught even, you know, by themselves as, as they do each quiz and each question um, you know each time so if you come out of that I'm going to show an example of one that has not been done so as you can see here the answer keys are on the left and so the answer sheet is on the left the student is able to go right into the question they go ahead and actually answer each question and they move on and move on from there so say for example I go ahead and just kind of randomly fill out some of these um, answers I'm just going to randomly fill some of them out here. I'm going to skip some. So if you see that, what we're able to do is at the end of the, of the, the quiz, the student's able to submit the quiz, which is right here. And when the student submits the quiz, it kind of grades the quiz instantly. Um, so the student knows where they, what they missed and what they got wrong. And they're able to, again, play a video. So as you could see there, the explanation is go, uh, goes into pretty much what the student should have done, how they should have answered that, where they made mistakes, and the video again really provides instruction even outside of um, the time we're spending with the student one-on-one. -on -one. So that's our online tool. It's, an, it's a tool for the ACT. It's a tool that we're really excited about, very similar to what we already have for the SAT. Um, and this for the ACT is, is just it's just a brilliant way for us to really extend what we're doing with the student already and really take that to give them that drill um, outside of the sessions we're with them. That way they're able to get the, the highest level of practice, which we all know really helps the student to improve their SAT, um, the ACT, their ACT score. So thank you very much. And I hope uh, to work with your, we hope to work with your student as a team and to improve their ACT score. Thank you.